Hi everyone, welcome to the Hot Dice Perry Miniatures uh, Miniature Review. Um, we've got the Mercenaries box here, European Infantry, nine, what's that, 1450 to 1500. Uh, they are 28mm according to this. I've got my uh, tape measure to help us out a little bit because I'm going to do actually a model comparison here. So we're going to compare um, what we have here is the Victrix, uh, Roman and Gaul. Brilliant models, excuse this has been um, speed painted in the past, so <laughs> that's just a blob of black ink really. Um, I've actually got some uh, gripping miniatures here, gripping beasts, beautiful models, uh, unpainted unfortunately, but uh, compare it with those. Uh, some fantasy, I rebased this briefly when I tried to adopt into Age of Sigmar, but uh, yeah, fantasy's dead, <laughs> and uh, obviously then some of the, the finished perries. So we're just going to unbox them so you can see what's inside. This is an unopened box. I, I bought a load of these for my... Um, I got into Kings of War uh, not too long ago and I thought, okay, these are, seem to be great value. So if we look here, I got these, uh, should be £20, so what's that, like 20, uh, $25 or something like that. I got them a bit of a sale, £18, but for 40 minis absolute steal the price is, is unbelievable uh, what do you get inside there there's just a, a snapshot of the options but if we're looking here 40 you get some flags you do get some um, bases but I didn't use those really as you'll see as I did actually multi base these for both Kings of War and and for um, historical, if I ever want to get into pike and shot or anything like this. So the mercenaries ones comes with a mixture of three different weapons. So this is just standard sprue. Um, we have six down here, six down here, and then I think there's three of those. So that brings me three lots of twelve. And then we've got some command sprues here. So you've got the uh, crossbow shields. Uh, on those, you've got the Helber heads if you don't want to go for the pikes. Pikes is the standard fit here. It <laughs> looks to me that if you want to go for the Helber, you have got the nightmare job of cutting off these heads and gluing these on, which just... <sighs> okay, it's, it's space-saving, but um, those are going to come off. Those are definitely going to come off. Okay, mixture of heads, you've got these um, much heavier ones here. And then on here, slightly more standard infantry dome helmets on here. You see crossbows with a mixture of uh, cranking, which is arming and then shooting, firing positions. Same with the rifles, or should I say, sorry, the muskets here. You have some loading and some shooting arm ones. The bodies come in a mixture of these great quilt armour, cloth armour, uh, you know, uh, plate even. And some looks like... A Gamerson or something like that. Okay, well, you get the idea. So what gets... Here's the bases there, just to show you those quick. So we're going here, got a little bit of history, which is really nice, uh, depending on how you want them to be. So you can play them as Burgundy, in which case it's going to give you a little bit of a hint of how they should be armed, um, how they'd be played, the Swiss Confederacy, France, Italian states, and the Holy Roman Empire, or modern, modern Germany some flags some beautiful flags so we'll just go through those in case you just want them for the flags you can see they are related to the regions they will be playing in uh france here the low countries uh so i assume netherlands belgium -ish area switzerland let's flip that over so you can see a little bit better uh, excuse the flash there so you've got a bit of some burgundy uh, Italy and not many Holy Roman Empire ones here, but they are there, which is great. And then a description of what's inside. Is there actually a model count? I haven't put these together for a while. Should be enough. If I'm looking at this, that should be how many? How many pikes? Let's do that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six pikes. That's only got enough for eighteen pikemen obviously then you can fill them out with a command and then each sprue then has four crossbows and four rifles so yeah okay three times so you've got 12 rifles 12 crossbows 18 
pikes in total, and then a few spare for command. Really nice. Okay, so let's do the size comparison in case you're looking at melding them together. Which, you know, for me, uh, doing a Kings of War army, I have got a lot of Warhammer Fantasy from yonder years, but we'll just get these together down here. Get them on like this. They're gripping beasts. So hopefully that's quite good. I'll tell you what, here's one I made earlier. The size comparison. So you can see, you know what, from the old fantasy, not bad. Really not bad scaling. You see, I'd happily use these as Fantasy Empire back in the day. They look great as well. You can tell that you know, the Perry Twins used to work for Games Workshop. They've probably, I would say, you can see the influences of those old Empire models on, on, on here. Um, these are huge, actually. I didn't realise. The Victrix models are fantastic. Uh, again, sorry about the Null Noil. I, I speed painted these, and God knows, I always regret it when I speed paint. You come back and you go, oh, why did I do that to myself? Now, that's either a repaint or a complete change. Um, so comparing them to these, so I haven't got too big of a disparity. Massive, really. Both supposedly 28 mil, but this guy's chunkier. They look quite out of place, but obviously this is the ancient set, so they would anyway. And then the Gripping Beast, which is absolutely a wonderful model, not too dissimilar. But you can see the, the Perry, the, I think the Perry twins here, the Perry miniatures are victims of their own success. They're so well scaled. Just to give you what I've done here, an example here, I've got the crossbowmen set up here. They're so well scaled that other miniature companies where you have tend to have an exaggeration of hands and heads just don't don't stack up when they're side by side so obviously the beauty of the Perry miniatures are they are cheap you get a lot of them so if you're looking at a min I would say if you're looking at an army start from scratch so what I've done here's some pikemen with a, a semi-finished base so you'll notice the weird bases I've got on here uh, that's because they have been multi-based uh, so this is for Pike, Pike and Shot, or other, other historical tend to be on a standard 40 by 40. Um, Kings of War tends to be more 100 by 40. So I've just put magnetic strips underneath, and then they can be moved about like so. Please excuse this spear here. Um, my cat chewed that. Who thought cats chewed miniatures? Well, that helped. Now you know. So I hope that helps. Like I said, great value. A lot of these miniatures are great value. I, I always think, so apart from Games Workshop where you know you often feel violated after buying their models, um, the, the prices are competitive. But for me, these are, uh, for the price, just to see what they're like and give them a paint. They are wonderful. They are absolutely wonderful models. So anyway, that's enough from me. Um, I'll do more reviews of Perry miniatures and we'll go into more detail. Ask, let me know what else you'd like me to cover. So if there was more information you needed to know about them, happy to do that again. So just like, comment, subscribe, happy to go ahead. Right, thanks for tuning in to Hot Dice. Take care. See you next time.